Folks, I have driven a long ways to the middle of the woods to come to a lake I haven't been to in 20 years and never fished it for crappie. I read some reports online that they are shallow and you can even catch them from the bank waiting. And that is our mission out here today. As you can see, no one around. We are all the way out here. So let's go see if we can get some crappie up shallow and a lake that is secluded. Alrighty y'all, you know how we do it by now. We've got our cooler, our camp cooking gear, firewood. We got the crispy shoes ready to roll and go collect. So here's the goal for today. We're gonna try to get some crappie up in the bushes. We got a uh, 10 footer and I've got two sevens rigged with uh, search crappie gear. I've got a cork rig tied on, we've, we've straight up crappie. I got my big bag of crappie baits right here. Got my crappie catfish tackle box. By the way, huge sale, googansquad.com, biggest sale of the year going on right now. Use promo code LFG at checkout to save up to 70% off the entire site. It's monstrous, monstrous, monstrous sale right now. So if you wanna get hooked up on crappie baits, whatever, we got deep discounts on baits and a lot of other stuff right now. So go check that out. Let's head to the ramp. Let's go see if we can make this happen. This is gonna be a, a catching mission. All right, guys, I may I may extend beyond my normal five to 10 because I've traveled so far. I may, I may try to feel that cooler, so let's go do it. So I am normally pretty reluctant to say the name of the lake that I'm at because A, a lot of uh, you guys watching this, you're not even close to where I'm fishing, so it doesn't really matter. B, if it's a smaller lake, I usually don't like to say the name because some people, they get upset, you know, because it's exposing the lake. Not that I really catch them that well anyways, but you understand what I'm saying. This lake, I'll tell you, is called Lake uh, Wright Patman. Came a long ways to get here. It's about a four hour drive for me. I fished a tournament here years and years and years ago. It was like a BFL, fished as a co-angler. I made the final tournament, whatever it was. It was a long time ago. And I remember it sucked. It sucked so bad, I said, I'm never coming back to this lake. But I think I'm gonna run up to uh, the first major creek arm that I see on the map, and we'll go from there. So hopefully uh, there's no stumps. Put our kill switch on and give her a rip. All right, so first area that we're starting out in. Oh, of course, as soon as I start my first sentence of the day, I'm stuck. Probably gonna get stuck a lot. This lake is full of brush right now. So where I'm starting out is in the back of a little creek, just a small creek arm, kind of approaching a big creek arm. And I'm um, just, I'm throwing a cork rig on some of this brush and I'm gonna have to make some adjustments. I really, ha I haven't seen any fish yet on the electronics. I'm literally just, just making some casts, just doing some cork in here. Well, there's a white bass. Resorted to turning on the scope. There's another little juvenile. On the grub. There's a bite. Oh, that's not 
wipe the ass. Juvenile white bass in the creeks. Got him. Crappie on, baby. There we go. There's one. There's one, boys. This is completely not how I wanted to catch him. He's not even that big. I'll let him go. Suspended on a point on the old tube. Not how I wanted to catch him, but I'm seeing some off this point here some brush right here this ought to be it see one down there that's starting to get a little excited he sees it got him that's a good one there oh my gosh that's a massive one. Oh my gosh guys that's a monster Oh my gosh, this might be my biggest one of the year. Ah. Oh, he is just stuck too. Oh, it's folk flipping. Holy cow, post spawn, look at this. God, can you imagine spawn? That is a post spawn fish, guys. Oh my God, that is a giant. That is a giant see where that one lands on the inches okay that's a 15 incher all right that one is going home with me guys hardy did its thing spawned out bloody tail not what i was hoping to see i was hoping to see him on the bank but it's just so flooded right now i have had to break out the bill dance chair after standing up and throwing it brush for an hour or so and not getting a bite this rig right here is uh it's kind of cool i've got a quarter ounce weight with a bobber stop there and i've got a a little eighth ounce actually this is probably a 16th ounce it is this is a 16th ounce with that little uh chartreuse and black toxic waste is the color um, tube and that is that is what has produced two fish so far so I'm gonna go back to this pile see another big one down there that's one of my biggest crappie of the year that was a strong one there that's coming out of a big spawning creek really had to stick it down there in that, that brush and let it hang all right so that heavy weight is taking it right down there's another big one Got her. Oh my gosh. Another big one. Ah, that's a good one. Ah, and I see one more in there that is bigger than that one. Nice fish for the stringer boys. Now we're working. Just had to get out our, our Bill Dance chair. Shout out to Bill. But sadly, this is this is post spawn. I do believe. Oh, one more big one in that pile, and then I'm gonna move on. This system really works well with this weight up top because I can get it down there really, really quick. Now on a, a brush pile, it's a little different. I could get away without it because fish are gonna stick around it. But for an open water fish, this right here is really effective because I can get it down there quick. Yep, got another one. 
There we go. Ah, these are all nice crappie. Getting it up on this brush pile. Good ones, y'all. First crappie I've ever caught out here. The first one was like 11. The rest have been at least 12. The other one's 15. These are big ones. Excellent eaters. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh my god. I broke my rule. I broke my rule. Never clip them over the water. That was dumb. That one got away. Another thing I want to do with my uni knot here is I'm going to shift it back every time I catch a fish so that my my jig head is sticking more vertical. I think I see one of the fish that I just accidentally let go going back to it. It's probably going to go tell the others, don't bite that thing. Okay, I got a good one identified. It's sitting under some bait. <sighs> Please don't run away from the boat. Here's the boat. It's that boat slap, the wind. God, it heard my line going down in the water. I was so gentle. Go with a pink little bumping bug here. Coming up, coming up. Oh, she took off. Got him. Keeper crop. Not a giant, but a keeper crop. Look at this hole, guys. I mean, this is why you gotta have a soft rod. Look how big that hole is. That's why they call them paper mouths. There's another one, 11 and a half. Pretty good fish. Now, don't break this rule, okay? When putting your fish on the stringer, you do it over your boat. You do it over land or whatever you got. I've had trout get off that way. You got to get an iron grip on them. Because it's, it's their last chance. Got my 10 foot pole out and I've got my bill dance chair. That's key with my scope up front. And I'm at the mouth of a creek and I can just it seems keep going down the stretch and I'm seeing suspended crappie throughout the creek. I started out fishing all this on the bank. That's where I really wanted to catch them. It's up there. But I got to adapt to what the lake is giving me and this is what I've got. I think recent rains have just muddied the waters, kind of got the fish out of the brush. I don't know if they're pulling water right now, but it is it's not the magic that I was hoping for. But got some good ones on the stringer so i'm gonna keep plugging away as long as my trolling motor will go in this creek and see if we can find old big i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna just gonna take this weight off this is this is great in deeper water if i was doing this over 30 40 20 foot even but i'm in you know less than 15. so i'm gonna go ahead and just snip this off another thing you want to do if you're forward facing fishing like this and i have found that the best place to do this is just go into those creeks go into a creek literally just start at the mouth start going in and usually if you're on a lake that has crappie in it, a good amount of crappie you'll start seeing some suspended ones that just kind of live out there throughout the year but you want to get into the wind. That's what you want to do. You know, I'm going to go with this, uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to go with this bad boy right here. I'm going to go with this, to this toxic waste color. It's, it's probably my, my top, top color besides electric chicken, of course, which is just well known catching them in all sorts of water clarities but this one for dirty and stained water I love something about that chartreuse 
So this bait I've got on right here, this is essentially a bandito bug, squatted down version of a bandito bug. And when you put that in the water, the tails flare out like that. So it has some good action. It's not a full, full kick like a grub tail or a swimmer, but it's kind of a, it's great bait just to suspend over them. And if you want to swim it a little bit, it has some action. Uh, another thing about identifying crappie, if you're seeing a fish that's just darting around a lot, probably not a crappie. Crappie will tend to uh, stay in one spot. They'll move, but then they'll slow down and stop again. All right, we got two Lone Rangers, suspendoids. Let's see if we can pop them. This one I just overcasted. We are swinging in nicely though. That should be a caught fish. Got him. That feels like a keeper. That one behaved beautifully. Thank you, appreciate that. We're hauling today. We're doing a little meat haul. We're well on our way to our uh, to our typical tin. Looks like I just found myself another pile. See what I'm talking about here, guys? Just in the middle of the creek. Oh, God! fish came out how does that happen how does the fish come off that was a big one. Oh my god that was a big one that was a big one guys that's usually how it happens first one in there most aggressive just comes out oh god that one had did the same exact thing Got him that time. That was that one was suspended over the pile. Good one. Oh yeah, big mama. Big mama up in the hizzy, baby. Look at you, girl. Heck yeah, that's a toad. Mm. She looks a little beat up from the spawn. She just suspended over that pile. I'm gonna mark that thing. Is that should have a couple more on it. Slowly but surely, we're putting together a satchel here. I know, big girl, I know. Yeah, goodness. Woohoo, son. Son, as old Roland would say. God, that feels good. Feels good to get a straight connect on a jig like that. Stuck on a log. This could be a good one. It's gonna take, now oh, he sees it. Now oh, he's got it. She's got it. Uh, ooh, you were a tricky one. I knew you didn't look big, but you were acting like a big one. It's the second one I've caught that's got a super black tail. White crappie with a black, black tail. Probably 10 inches, but we'll return it to the waters. Let it grow. Oh my gosh, I mean, just blasted it. Big one suspended, open water. That wasn't just right away. Oh yeah, big one. Come here, big girl, big old big lip. Oh man, woo, son. Look at that one, boys. Oh man. Now that is a pretty fish. Jolly, look at that. Just big old wide crappie. Gosh, she just turned on it and smacked it. Mmm. Gosh, it's fun. Oh, yeah, boys. Look at that. Look how they're darkening up on the stringer. Woo, man. This might be my, my best sack all season. Oh, 
got ourselves another whopper, boys. This fish looks like it's kind of moving, but could be catchable. That fish just took off with that cast. Oh gosh, there's a big one under the boat. I didn't even see it. I didn't even see it. It sees my bait. Oh my gosh, what happened there? This could be a nice one. it right away. That one didn't even make a good cast. Pitched it underneath your nose and you still ate it. That appears to be a keeper though. Boys, we're out here. We're getting it done. We're getting it done. 11 incher. Oh, that stringer's looking pretty. All right, that is a stringer. Oh, we got two more. There's seven, we got three more to 10, that's what it is. Giant. Giant. Oh, come here, baby. What are you? Be a big one. Be a big one. Something has come out of this brush pile. Big. It's big like big crappie. Oh. God, when I hooked that one, it felt like the earth. The earth was moving. Whew. There's a good one. Nice solid 13 incher. Oh, bag of them. Getting that bag of them, boys. Now what's what's uh, what's interesting is oh, that's getting heavy. It's kind of cool is I have not left a probably 70 square yard area. I gotta look at my map because I don't know if that was a brush pile I've already fished. Yeah, I think it was. So that was one I already fished. I probably came across that fish or a new one moved into that pile. Sometimes the best thing to do, you go in these creeks, just get right in the middle. Just float right out in the middle with them and start hunting around. I don't know how you catch these fish without forward facing. Maybe you, um, you spider rig. That's something you're about, but I don't know. I just like thumping them on these artificials. It is fun. Here's a decent one. I'm passing one up to try to catch this one. I like it. I like it a lot. That is a good one. Just swing into it a little bit. Fish ate it. There we go. There's a good one. That one's probably gonna be a 13. Look at these, they're post-spawn, they're beat up. I've missed them, I've missed them out here. 13. Oh, we got two more spots, guys. Two more. Can we do it? I think we can. That is a good stringer, boys. Really good. Okay, I found me another random piece of brush. There's a big one. Kind of suspended away from it. Okay, there's a decent one back behind it. There's one right in the V of the tree that looks okay. It's not aggressive. I'm gonna have to put it right on top of its nose. It's okay.
eat it. Oh, oh, that fish got it. I got it. That's a good one. Oh, yeah, big one. This might be the biggest one of the day. Right on the top of that bush. Oh, she freaking swallowed it, too. It's gone. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. That's down the hatch, y'all. Bumping bug down the hatch. That's when you know they want it. Look at that fish. What a fatty. Absolute fatty. Not that long, but just super wide. Gorgeous. A big issue. Oh, solid 14. Oh, no, don't you get away. We know how that goes. Got ourselves a stringer of them. There's another one, too, that was beyond it that looked even bigger. Boys, <laughs> we out here catching pigs. That's fun. Whoo, man. Something about that pink with that toxic waste. The dirty water, they just, they like it a lot. Plucking them away. They're post-spawn, they're not how I wanted them, but I'm just secluded and <laughs> snatching them, y'all, by myself. It's pretty awesome. All right, here we go. You ready for this? I can't really hear you. I probably want to get off of you. Okay. All right, bye. That's happening. Big floaters. Catching big floaters, yeah, big floaters. Just solid fish. This one is actually the farthest back that I've come in the creek sort of where it splits and there's some bait fish out here but they're just suspended i'm gonna i gotta throw this one on it's just a perfect eater perfect 12 inch eater absolutely perfect we're gonna double the one up double up on the top here easy old girl easy now actually you're probably a boy Mm-hmm. Mm. Just individual. When that fish gets to 14, that's what I'm going to cast. It's a good one. It's probably a 12 incher again. All right, here we go. 14. We're going to let it swing in. Swinging in, fish is going to end up about 10 foot, which is how long our rod is, which is perfect. Fish sees it. And it's done. We got him. Oh, we had him. We had him. Yeah, it's not as big as I thought. 11 incher. You can tell when they're swimming away from you, obviously, because they're gaining distance, but they also have like a softer look on the scope, pretty interesting. All right, she just stopped. Oh, ate it, ate it. Chased that fish down and ate it. I mean, not just ate it, just completely inhaled it. Gone. Oh, I got these gnats, they're up in my neck. Do not like them. I've caught so many of those fish on that one plastic. Another 12 incher. Oh, let me introduce you to the group. This is Tina and Sheila and Bob and Candy, Tom and Marshall. Uh -huh. All righty, y'all, we're gonna take it in. Look at this big string of crappie, y'all. I could barely hold it. There's some nice ones in there. Some 15s. Really good fish. Star player today. It was that bumping bug. That bait right there. This is one of my favorite color combos. And this is um, this is going to be linked down below if you guys want to check out the crappie section. 
at GuggenSquad.com. You can use my promo code LFG. Get some bumping bugs. It's an excellent little bait just for obviously bumping brush. But for these suspended fish as well, crush some good ones in a short amount of time. So if I had a full day, I think I could complete a really nice stringer, but this is just enough for me and my family. We're gonna be eating good for at least a couple weekends on those. Now let's head back to camp, get a fire going. Secured in the cooler. I don't know what's going on with these gnats here at Wright Patman. I think they're bull gnats. Oh, phew, these gnats. They are relentless. Can't find my Bucky's lighter. This is what I'll go with. That guy right there. Hopefully it works. There we go. Got some oil on that one. Fire's not roaring yet, but it's going. I think what I'm most likely going to do is. Use the pad, as usual, and jump in the truck bed. <sighs> the truck bed, exposed. We'll see how that goes. I happened to find a Bucky's on the way down, so we got jalapeno poppers we're gonna throw on there with a couple of cold pops, and we got some boudin. Some boudin, pretty good stuff right there. That's what we're gonna eat. But I just got some news, y'all. I just got some news that a lake that I've been waiting for it to open for a long time is, is, is opening. It just opened. And uh, bass are being caught. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity for me. Uh, I've never been around a lake as it opens. This could be a really cool opportunity to go out there and uh, I wanna take you guys along for the ride. I was gonna stay out here and do some bass fishing and maybe do some cat fishing, but quite honestly, the lake is so flooded, I didn't like it. You know, I wanted to catch crappie up in the brush today. That was not happening. A lot of the fish were post-spawn, and hate to say it, if it wasn't for forward-facing, we would have probably not caught anything today. Flipped those br that brush forever and did not catch them. Winded up finding them an offshore brush, just coming out of the points, post-spawn, and then floating around in the creeks. But, a shallow bass bite in brush, a brand new lake. Never been fished before. I'm gonna shoot on over. And maybe the crappie is amazing at this other place. I don't even know. It could be awesome. It's just a brand new lake, brand new opportunities. And uh, I think that's what we're gonna do next. That's where we're gonna head for next video. So thank you guys for tagging along today on this nice stringer of crappie. Don't forget to go camping. It's nice for the soul. I mean, even though I'm getting eat up by gnats, they're kind of calming down. We're gonna have ourselves a nice secluded, I mean, I'm the only person out here, guys. Secluded night tonight, uh, sleeping in the truck bed. Hopefully that goes well. I'll give you an update next video, waking up here, going to the other lake, so you guys subscribe to the channel, smash that like button for catching a sack. And I'll see you on the next one.